In Silicon Valley, tech innovation is changing at an accelerating pace. The net result is that it is becoming more difficult than in the past to identify and get in touch with the new waves of uh, uh, tech entrepreneurs, um, uh, you know, new teams creating startups in areas where we're not really sure we have necessarily understood there was a need or there was a challenge. So um, Orange has been in Silicon Valley in San Francisco in particular for 15 years and we've been acting there trying to connect with uh, the ecosystem, uh, the tech ecosystem so to speak, uh, both um, uh, the uh, academic sector and uh, the, uh, the startup entrepreneur space. We also work with uh, existing major players like the investors, the VC, the business angels, the accelerators and also corporate uh, VC uh, uh, companies from Intel to Google including Cisco and others. Um, so, <clears throat> as things are accelerating very rapidly, um, there's two things happening. One is that there are more and more people in the Silicon Valley uh, trying to create the next big thing. So that is in itself very interesting, very exciting, but it's hard to track um, if you just sit there and, and you know, go to conferences, which we do also. The other thing is that, that it is, this environment is creating is that it's becoming more difficult to even have access to these companies when we identify them because there is so much interest from investors and uh, potential buyers that you know, if things are uh, you know, uh, moving very rapidly. So uh, there is no uh, 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 mechanism that is not welcome to increase uh, the reach that we have with uh, the Me Too entrepreneurs or existing entrepreneurs. We decided to create a new bridge uh, so that we could get closer uh, to the new entrepreneurs and that they can feel that they should talk to Orange, even though we don't operate as a carrier in the US, uh, but we still, uh, a large, we still have a large presence in uh, the Bay Area with above uh, 60 people, both engineers and business analysts. So we know how to test products, but beyond that, we know how to connect very rapidly with the decision makers within Orange. Uh, this is one of the most difficult thing for startup is to find the right persons uh, ready to make a decision as to either experiment with their product, license the technology, or potentially um, uh, invest in the company, which is another aspect that we are looking at. So we are not necessarily looking at uh, uh, investing uh, immediately, uh, but we thought that we should have a well-identified program to go after the, the startup and have the startup in the Bay Area come to Orange. We created Orange Fab uh, in 2002, 12, sorry. And uh, in 2012, we decided that uh, we should create something that was slightly different from uh, the established incubators in Silicon Valley. They are doing an amazing job from Y Combinator, 500 startups, or like Turner Media and others. Uh, so there's no point uh, doing what they do super well. But right after the startups leave the accelerator to uh, raise money, particularly Series A, when, when there is valuation involved. This is where we think there is an acceleration role that we as a company should play. So we want to uh, talk to people who already have a product or very close to a real product, potentially some customers, uh, uh, a good team, and in areas where we think there is uh, uh, something that Orange can gain from. And uh, it's a win-win situation. It's not a situation where Orange is just helping companies and trying to maybe uh, bet on the next uh, big company. That's not what we're trying to do with this program. Uh, what we're trying to do is have startups work with us scale without orange, so we are, we're not looking at people who are just relying on, the, on orange to, uh, to scale and be the next big thing, uh, and they will help us uh, find new products that we were not uh, necessarily thinking of, or we didn't have a roadmap 
uh, to get a product so rapidly so we can have their products for our internal use or and for our customers, which is very interesting. So even our selection committee, uh, when we start uh, hiring, uh, recruiting uh, a startup for the, for the, the actual season, we, we, we have now two seasons uh, completed. The first one, we had six startups. The second one uh, has uh, uh, seven startups included. And we are already, in, nine, uh, in 2014, we are already working on the third uh, session. And uh, what we do for the, during the selection uh, process is invite uh, people from all over the place outside of Orange. So investors, we also invite people from other uh, companies, not our competitors, of course, but other companies, uh, even customers of Orange are coming, you know, large, large accounts. And they will sit down with us and tell us what they think about the pitches that we receive from the various uh, startups uh, pre-selected for the final. Usually, we, we, uh, we select 30 startups, 3-0, before we go down to six or seven. Now, the program uh, is so, uh, I would say, easy to uh, replicate or duplicate that our CEO uh, has decided to encourage the entire group to look at it and maybe, uh, hopefully, uh, deploy it in their uh, own uh, markets. So we have now Orange France as uh, up and running. They started at the beginning of uh, uh, 2014. Uh, we also have uh, uh, Japan and, and Korea uh, already up and running. Uh, uh, Tel Aviv in Israel will be up and running, uh, I guess, before the summer of 2014. And Poland is already working on their own uh, Orange Fab for Poland, and we know there are a few other countries uh, within the Orange footprint looking at how we are doing uh, with Orange Fab in all those places so that uh, they can make a decision as to whether or not they deploy their own Orange Fab. So that's wh where we are. It's about, uh, it's about reaching out to the most interesting uh, uh, entrepreneurs and innovators in our space, broadly speaking, telecom, internet, television, cloud, and things like that, big data. Uh, and it's also about having these people help Orange uh, thrive and uh, uh, do a better job at uh, delivering new products.